After setting the grid and levels, we're going to start with the flooring. So to add a floor, you can come here to this uh, floor under architecture tab. So I'll select the floor and then I will get all these editing and modifying tools. They are similar to the things that you are uh, used to in AutoCAD. So we have these uh, draw tools like line, rectangle, uh, polygon, circle, uh, the curvature here you can create it with an arc and so on and then you have these modifying tools which are like align offset move copy trim extend and so on so let's just go here to this ground floor level and we can start drawing for example with the line so you can start with the line here and then just create the uh, shape that you want let's say I'm just using I'm snapping to the grid lines but of course you can draw whatever you want so let's say I'll just create this here and then I'll just close it it has to be closed line otherwise when you click on finish edit mode it will not be created okay so I'll just click here on finish and if I go to 3d from here you will see that it's created now Okay, so I'll click on shift and scroll and then I will move my mouse to see the shape. So now this is the floor that we did. Let me just go back to the ground level, delete this one. Usually when we start with the floor, so I'll click on floor and you will see here that we have in the properties, you can select the type that you want. So we have lots of different types. What we usually do is we go to generic and select whatever uh, whichever you want. So let's say I'll go to generic 300 and I'll click on edit type. So we can create a new type for us. I'll click here on edit type and then duplicate. When you duplicate it, you can rename it. So let's say I'll create this one for the uh, ground floor and I want the depth to be, for example, 200 and let's say it will be marble, for example. So I'll do that and then click on OK. Now this is a generic floor. It's based on the generic type that we uh, selected. So we need to create the layers here for the marble floor. So I'll click here in the structure on edit. And then I'll start adding the materials and the thickness for each one and the function. So the core here, we have this. It will be structure. And let's say that this is the precast that we have. So I'll just... Uh, type cast for example let's see what we have here so we have this concrete cast in place for example so let me just check here as well you will find a lot of other types that you can choose from so I will just select uh, concrete cast in place gray which is um, standard so double click on it and it will be added up here okay so I'll select it and then click on OK. Now this layer is concrete and the thickness, let's say I'll keep it as uh, 150. Then I will insert another one. This one, I'll just move it up because it's not part of the core. It will be a finish. And I'll change the function here to finish. For this finish, I will select the uh, concrete sand mix. So let's just type concrete sand cement screen okay double click on it it will be here and let's give it a thickness of for example uh, 20 so now I have another layer here I'll insert another one and then, and then again change the function to finish change the material here to marble okay so I have one here double click on it select it and it will be selected here and then let's ch change the thickness, for example, to 30. So I have all of these layers now. If you cannot see the layers here, this is because the preview is closed. You can just click on it and it will open the preview for you. So if you're satisfied with all your layers, you can always move any of them up or down. So if I select this one, I can move it up. But uh, it doesn't make any sense because this uh, is supposed to be under the marble. Okay, so this is the base, the concrete, the uh, cast, and then I have this blue or, or screed or max or whatever, and then I have this marble above it. If I'm satisfied with the layers, everything is fine, 
I will click on OK and you will see that the total of these thicknesses now is 200. Okay, so everything is fine. I'll just click on OK. Now this is the type that I will use when I'm drawing this uh, floor. Again, you can select any shape you want. So let's say I'll search, select this rectangle. And then uh, if I start drawing the rectangle from here to here, it will start exactly from this point because it's snapping to the grid point. But usually the grid lines are going down uh, through the center of the wall, which means I need an extra 100 on each side. So to do this, you can either draw your flooring. So let's just draw it from here to here. And then you can use the offset command. So in offset, I will change this, for example, to 100. And then click on the line. Let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So when I move my mouse to this line, you will see this dotted line at the top. If I move it a little bit to this side, it will be down. So wherever you want the, uh, the, fill, uh, the offset to be, you just move your mouse. So this is 100, and then this is 100. You can see here that we have a copy. So if it's checked, it will create a copy from the line. Okay, so this is just a copy. If you don't want a copy, you want it to be a bit smarter, just remove this, and then it will automatically make an, create an offset and then weld these points together. Okay, so this is in case you're already done with the flooring and you forgot to do the, to do the offset, you can use this offset method here. Otherwise, what you can do, I'll just press an escape to, uh, to go back to selecting the items, close the offset command. I will delete these lines and start again. When I select the rectangle again, you will see that here I, I have an offset option. So you can set this from the beginning. Let's say I'll set it to 500. Okay, so now when I start drawing, I am snapping to the grid points, but the drawing will be automatically offset. Okay, so you don't have to offset each line separately later on. So let's say this is the line that I want. So I'll just click here. And if I want to create any curves or something, I can st select an arc from here and then click, for example, this is the first point, this is the second point, and then this is the third point. And you will see that the offset is already there. So I will just delete this line for now. And then I want to connect these lines together. So what I can do here in this case, go to this modifying tool, which is trim extend to corner. So I'll just select this, or you can type TR, and then select these two together, select these two. These are already connected. That's it. If you're satisfied with the shape that you have, you can click on Finish Edit Mode. Okay, so now I have this flooring. It's under this type. Let's just go to the 3D. So I'm clicking here to go to the 3D. You can see that it's a marble effect, and I have this concrete under it. If you want to create any openings, let me just go to the top of you, or I can go just to the uh, ground level, okay? I, I can select this floor. I will get uh, the modifying tools again. So uh, if you want to draw something extra, you can just, uh, let me just double click on it. So I double clicked on the uh, floor itself to get the editing mode again. And I'll, for example, create a circle here. So I can select the center. The offset is zero. So if you want to add an offset, you can. This is up to you. So let's say I'll just create this one. So let's say it's 400. OK, so now when I click on Finish Edit Mode, and by the way, if you don't click on Finish Edit Mode, you cannot go back and work on any other thing. You have to close it so you can move to something else. OK, so if I go now to 3D, you will see that we have this opening here. Okay, you can always change the view from realistic to shaded if it's easier for you to see or wireframe or whatever you want. So for now, I just keep it unshaded so it will be a bit faster. Okay, so this is basically how you create a floor. When you select the floor, you will get... Sorry, let me just take it back. When you select this floor, you will get these here where you can uh, change the settings here in the properties. So now if I go to the north elevation, for example, you will see that it's starting under the ground level. 
so I will select the flooring if you want it to start above you will just go here to the height offset and add an offset of 200 which is the thickness of the floor so it will move above the ground level okay so the way you're adding the uh, levels this is up to you uh, the way you're adding sorry the flooring this is up to you you can add for example above or below this is depending on how you want it to be on the site itself so the drawings will be according to what you draw and when, what you modify in the properties so this is basically how you create a floor we will talk more about slopes and how to edit these floors in the next video